Move to page six, please. Move to page six. It's on the screen. Page six. Right. It's a lovely drawing there. Also, some of the things are given to us. Once again, we see the line AE is parallel to the line BD. Those are the signs that show E is parallel to. This is parallel to that. Okay. A circle is there. Do you see any cyclic quadrilaterals? Come on, think. Cyclic quadrilaterals, can you, can you see? I can see two of them, I think. Yeah, yeah. B, D, E, F. That's one cyclic quadrilateral. The second one is A, B, D, E. Do you agree that also can be called as a cyclic quadrilateral? Right? Cir circle is passing through the four points there. Uh, what else? Do we have a center, center point? Yes. Is there a line passing through, sir? Yes. B, O, F. What do you call that line? Diameter. Happy? Now, uh, unfortunately, diameter is there, but we don't have any angle made by diameter. Right? Angle in a semicircle we don't have, really. Okay, right. We stop there. Uh, let's see what they gave you. They are telling you, given that BOE is 2K, once again, there are no numbers. We are dealing with letters, please. That angle is 2K. Watch there. BOE means start at B, go to O, go to E, angle forms in the middle. Three letter notation. That's all we know. Nothing else is known to you. Now, the questions are there. They want you name two angles that are equal to K. Name two angles that are equal to K. All right. So, uh, no other information is given to us. That's all it is. So, we are looking at finding all those missing angles. Doesn't matter. We'll do. Turn the picture like this. I told you, always make sure that that arc comes as the base there and then look at the angles. This is the arc making the angle 2K. Am I correct? That's the arc. B, D, E arc is making an angle at the center. The same arc is making an angle at A also. Angle at the center, angle at the top. The star, the dot story. What do you think of that angle there? Right? This is 2K. This is double that. Because it's 2K, that should have been 1K. Happy? Right? Is there any other angle that can be denoted by a K? Come on, think. Come on, think, please. Right? Uh, same thing. Watch there. B, D, E arc. The green arc makes an angle at the center. Same one makes an angle at F. It's making an angle at F also, right? So that also should be a K. That should be a K. Right now, is there anything else that we can actually do? At the moment, nothing. At the moment, nothing. So that's the actual question, right? Uh, let's apply cyclic quadrilaterals and then fill some blanks, right? Cyclic quadrilateral and fill the blanks. That's a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles add up to 180. If this is a K, what do you think of that in terms of K? Come on. In terms of K. If, if it's a 20, what do you think of that angle there? 180 minus 20, which will be 160, right? But we don't know the value of K. So if it's a 50, that's 180 minus 50. If it's a 20, that's 180 minus 20. If it's a 10, that's 180 minus 10. It's a K, that should be 180 minus K. We do not know what is K. So we got to write 180 minus K, please. Right? After that, cyclic quadrilateral rule. Do you agree this line is extended there? Watch there. It's an extension. Exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral equals to, jump inside, look at the opposite one, right? 
we said interior opposite. So, if this is a k, do you agree that should be a k? Happy? Done? Now, fine. Uh, any Anything more that we, we can do? Let us apply the concept of parallel lines, right? Parallel lines, if you see, that is a transversal there. Those two angles add up to 180. Co-interior angles, please, they add up to 180. So, if it is a 20, that should have been 160. 160. Because one, 160 plus 20 will be 180. But we do not know its value, so we write 180 minus minus k. We write 180 minus k, please, right? So, that is that's going to be 180 minus k, this angle here, right? Uh, if it is a 180 minus k, do you agree inside angle there should be a k? That angle only should be a k. Now, if you turn it like this, you actually see triangle BDC where the base angles are equal. This is k, that is also k. If these two are equal, what kind of a triangle is BDC? What kind of a triangle is BDC? Base angles equal. We call it isosceles triangle. Okay, that's an isosceles triangle. Now, many many things you can you can actually look at and then see what they are like. All right. Now, let's let's actually look at the questions that they asked us. Name two angles that are equal to K. Well, we named two angles. That is a K, that is a K. You can say angle A, angle F. If you do not like, use the three letter notation angle B, A, E. Right? If not, angle B, F, E for that angle. Right? Uh, Let us look at the next one. That is the second part. Write down the angles B, D, E and A, B, D in terms of K. What is B, D, E? Come on, think. B, D, E. What is B, D, E? B is here. D is there. E is here. We have written that in terms of K. 180 minus K. Right? 180 minus K. In terms of K means your answer should contain K and any other number. Right? So, that is what they actually wanted you to look at. Right, so please watch that angle there is 180 minus k. Right, and one more thing you got to know this particular angle, that angle, both are equal and k and k. Then also they asked you to prove that triangle BDC is isosceles. 